Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are up bright and early for the 23rd Annual Screen Actors Guild Award nominations. Let's talk about the themes of this year for SAG-AFTRA. I think, you know, we, we saw an industry last year that was kind of up in arms about diversity, but I think we're adding to that women and equal pay. Well, we're talking, yes, pay equity has been, look, these are not new topics, right? Last year we heard it going on. SAG after wasn't a part of that. Fortunately, we are diverse. It's our members we're talking about. We're talking about being reflective of our true culture. So, I mean, we actually accomplished that very well. But I, um, when we talk about pay, pay equity, that has been going on for decades, as well as uh, the idea of the lack of inclusion in diversity of people, not only of a different race, different genders, different abilities. Um, and I'm look, we people took it seriously, and we're going through a time of not just trying to talk about it. You know, it goes early on in the pipeline, not just talking about how to solve this, but to really live it and to make it active. And you're seeing this year, and this can't be a one time out, right? This is an ongoing thing. I'm hoping to see the diversity of the storytellers that we're seeing, the stories that are being told, um, are exciting. And I think television has been at the forefront of getting it better than film. I think film is sort of still lagging behind. Do you feel that? Well, it's always, you know, TV's always been a little bit in front, right? You have theater is really in front, right? And then you have, you saw it with, you know, Hamilton. You know, we had a present, you know, early on there. And then, um, and then you see it with television. It's, it's true, it's always been that way. Women rising uh, to the top, still having a lack of pay equity, which is stunning because it has been more diverse than ever and then film but it's all becoming one thing you know so I think that this diversity of the storytelling and the projects that are being made because we're seeing that there's a real response to it it's going to be continuing. And for you personally what are you looking forward to in 2017 with SAG-AFTRA? With SAG-AFTRA I'm looking forward to uh, helping to get more hopefully members working and making strong contracts we're coming up to a big negotiation um, and really uh, just, uh, I think, you know, um, celebrating what we're doing and making people aware. You know, we're in conversations constantly about how to make things better for our members. And this next year, uh, I think we're going to see a lot of great results. Well, we're looking forward to that. Thank you so much for talking with us today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know who you think will win at the SAG Awards, Moonlight or Manchester by the Sea.